food trucks, Orlando or Kissimmee, this is one of the biggest, largest food truck parks in the United States. I mean, they have what seems to be an infinite amount of trucks just parked outside. We're about to go on the inside part too. So y'all already know, but that's my thing right there, the food trucks. As soon as we pulled up, I just smiled. I'm like, this is, I feel like I'm home right now. So let's get into it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Orlando, Kissimmee, let's do this. So if you're looking to uh, avoid the tourist traps and like the amusement park food, it's definitely a, a good joint, a really good joint. The only problem is you have to uh, figure out which one you're gonna go to. All right, the first thing the wife wants, she wants pinchos, which is like uh, chicken on a stick. Let's do that first. Pulled up on me, he said you look familiar. What's your name again? Chris. Chris, plug in your channel, man. Yeah, what's going on guys? It's Chris, I'm from Top Rankings. Just chilling in here in Central Florida. Pulling up on my boy, JL Jupiter, man. Yo, you already know, hit that like, subscribe, you know what to do. Am I in the right, am I, am I in the right spot? Yeah, you're in a good spot, man. It's in a yeah. phenomenal spot here. We come here every now and then too. So you're, you're a veteran here? No, I wouldn't say veteran. I'm more on the Cocoa Beach area, so on the beach side. If you make it to that area, best key lime pie is in that area. I'm gonna hit you up. Yeah, I'm definitely hit, you up. hit me up, man. We'll get, get your contact, man. You mind if I have Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. I got your boy, man. This guy is a legend <laughs> in the game, man. You already know, man. All love, all love. One love, man. Nice to meet you, fam. You too, bro. Appreciate Take it, care. Man. Enjoy, man. Can make it on that side? I'll hit you up. Man. All right. First up, we got, uh, Pinchos. Let's see what this is about. Shout out to Top Rankings. He's like, you look mad familiar. Well, let's get into the food. These are Pinchos. These are like chicken on a stick. And these are hefty. This ain't no regular like beef stick like what I'm used to or chicken on a stick. This is chunks of just like chicken, deep fried. I thought it was gonna be grilled, but it's deep fried. Look at that, lots. Something different, you know what I mean? I don't want no pizza. I ain't come to no food truck to eat pizza, you know? Let's go. Mm. It comes a brand too, huh? What a lot of chicken. Um, let's try it out. They just, they just gonna turn up the music, huh? It is. It's good. It's delicious. That's good. This is definitely oatmeal. You gotta eat that with some rice or something. I probably enjoy that more rice. I can't just eat that chicken by itself. It's too good. This food truck feels like it's a whole festival every day. I don't even know the hours. We are here on a Thursday. There's a burger spot. My wife wants tacos too. So let me go get the tacos next. Be right back. The uh, experience here is so pure that some of the menus are like in Spanish and I don't even understand it. So I'm gonna have my wife go up there and uh, order some things. Uh, they're saying it's world food trucks, but uh, it seems to be more um, Latino driven, if anything, you know what I mean? It's a lot of like, I feel like Puerto Ricans run this food truck, man. There's a lot of fusion, a lot of Puerto Rican spots too. So, you know, shout out to all my Puerto Ricans for taking over this, <laughs> this, this, uh, this whole lot. It's gonna be a food truck park without without tacos. Everybody doing a video craze. I just want me simple al pastor tacos. This is hot. Mmm, crunchy. That's hot. Delicious street tacos. What can I say? One thing about their tacos, that, that tortilla, the way they were to grill it, it kept that crunchy. I like that. Chorizo. You know what I'm doing with the extra tortilla? The chicken we just ordered? The Puerto Rican chicken? I'm gonna take some of that and put it in a tortilla. Dip it in that hot sauce. All right. On to the next one. This 
just had the tacos. I just ordered some Venezuelan surf and turf sandwich. And I'm waiting on that. And over here, they got Lomo Satado, which is if y'all been watching the channel, I'm fairly new to the Peruvian cuisine. One of my favorite things to eat too. So I'm gonna order that too. We're going to dibble and dabble today at this world food truck. They got everything, man. I'm telling you, the only thing they don't have is AC. It is hot out here. All right, up next is the Venezuelan surf and turf sandwich. It was like 20 something dollars. This is a hefty sandwich. I didn't know what to order. I saw someone order this and I just pointed at the picture. <laughs> this is what I got. This is hefty. This is definitely a $20 sandwich. Let me show you. Sheesh. Y'all ready for this? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is, this is tremendous. Look at this. Oh no, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Shrimp, fish, steak. It's like toasted bread, lettuce, tomatoes. Cheers. Chips on top. Oh. Look, happy sandwich. Beef, chicken, shrimp. We got ham in here too. Let's see. <laughs> cheese. There's cheese in here. The bread is toasted. This is an overwhelming sandwich. Jam packed with just lots of meat, lots of like savoriness in here. Don't do what I'm doing right now. I have a lot of food. <laughs> It's too hot. It's too hot. I'm trying to enjoy it, but it is hot. I feel like this dish is good. If I take my time with it at the hotel, definitely much better. Hot shrimp. All right, up next is the uh, Peruvian Lomo Satado. Satado. Let's try this out. My son is already chowing down on this. You know what I mean? As y'all can see, it's steak, it's fries, it is tomatoes, onions, white rice. That is the bite right here. We need, we need, we need this back home. We need all this back home. Lomo Satado. That's hot. They got the wok flavor on here and everything. Right about that. But the flavors are like. Right about that. My wife said something really uh amazing. She pointed something out. So we ordered like four places already. Each spot took about like 10 to 15 minutes. Like they really make this joint fresh. I had to put the green sauce on here. Good though. Right. This is good. That's crazy. All this stuff, like the place that I visited back home, it's all right here in the park. Lemonade and passion fruit. 
the the fruit in the Florida is like that much more fresh. <laughs> you, you know they're you know they're getting it from like in town, homegrown. You can taste it. Why? Throw it away. This is too much food. Oh my God, brain freeze. Ooh, brain freeze. I am thoroughly impressed. The flavors, the um, the freshness, the amount of trucks here that are in competition. Competition is good. The amount of trucks here that is just fighting for your business. And you get, like this this right here, like, it's, it's a hot destination for foodies, if you know what I'm talking about. You want content, you come here. You spend like a whole week, I'm telling you, you have content for a couple months. All right, you heard it from Uncle Juke. I give advice, I'm Uncle Juke, okay? I'm OG, I'm OG Juke. You heard that too. Um, I'm th I, don't, I don't do pizza mainly on food trucks, I don't know why. Something about pizza off food truck, it might be really good, but if I'm coming from out of town, I want something. You no, know, Florida's not really known for pizza either. I'm not gonna do that to myself. Let me order one. Yeah, I didn't know Acapulco come in glizzy form. Yo, you got like a two footer and a one foot. I didn't know that. Camera. <laughs> so, this is the Acapulco. Ooh. Mmm. That's so fresh. I was supposed to go do Dominican food. I don't know if I can do it now. It's good, I'm at the edge of my limits, yo. I don't know if I can eat anymore. This tastes good. But the one I had at uh, Fred and Tony's is better. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Bacalaito. This thing is... Whew. Whew. I tell you what, this is the, fre the freshest bacalaito I've ever seen in my life. Look at that piece of fish. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. God damn. That thing's salty as ever. Did they bring the. Ooh. I don't need no salt in it. That's salty enough. It's good. It's real good, real fresh. It's a lot of salt. A lot of salt. I ain't gonna lie to you. I almost bust my ass on this table. Look at that. This thing come right apart. <laughs> That's how you know you ate it. That's how you know you had a good spot. We leaving out of here, y'all. Um, I wanted to try the Dominican truck out, but I literally cannot. I can't do it. So I'm gonna need y'all to find out for me. Um, this spot, this spot right here gets a 10 out of 10. I don't even do 10 out of 10s, but this place offers um, affordable, quick, fresh eats. And it's all there. They got a flea market here. They got a beer, beer stop right there too. Lots of seating. The only thing that they lack is the AC. They need to have some big fans here. But we're going to wrap it up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.